Hey everyone, I'm out here in Icecrown again, but this time I'm going to show you how to AoE tank. I'm with these converted heroes, and I really like this area because there's casters right next to these groups, and more often times than none, in heroics, you'll see the same exact setup. So if you need to practice your AoE, this is a great place to go. So I'm right about here on the map. Again, this is Icecrown, and they're roughly about in this bend. You'll find them all over the place. You won't have any trouble at all. I personally don't like Druid AoE. I love to see all those numbers. It's so much fun, but I don't think that Blizzard gave us enough um, threat gen with swipe. So if you ever go into an Ani group and you have a Pally or a DK tank, make sure that those guys take the whelps instead of yourself because they do a lot more uh, threat with their AoE than we do. However, if you have a warrior in your group, make sure that they don't take the whelps because they only have taunts, really, uh, where we have swipe and our one big AoE taunt. So AoE tanking is absolutely not hard at all. Again, it's very basic. Um, make sure that your group is targeting the big caster guy because casters either hurt a lot or they're your healers. So these guys need to go down first, usually no matter what. So we're going to go ahead and target that guy first, and we're going to swipe right off the bat. Why? Well, simply because if your healer heals right before uh, they come to you, oh, it, it gets really messy. I learned that the hard way. But notice how I swiped, again, before I mauled and mangled the caster. And it's important that you maul and mangle the caster when you can, simply because that's the target that everyone should be DPSing. But of course, there's always those idiots that don't do so. So it's really not that hard. Um, I didn't demo roar. Uh, these guys you really don't have time with. However, once you're comfortable with your threat, go ahead and demo roar. I doubt you'll have to keep it up unless your DPS is really, really bad. Then you'll have to redemo, but it's very unlikely. I'll do this again right here. Let's have this guy like that. Okay, so again, make sure these guys are in front of you. You don't get the benefit of dodging if these mobs are behind you. See, did you see how much that swipe did just on that guy? Pretty decent AoE damage. Druids are pretty good at keeping AoE as long as it's a smaller group. I'd say anywhere from 15 and up, I wouldn't try it. That's when your DPS goes down really low and it's really hard for you to keep aggro. Especially against those warlocks and, and warriors, it's absolutely horrible. And I see a group of two right here. Oh, I lied. It's just my screen lagging there. I'd like to find a group of two for you. That way I can show you the benefit of Maul, the glyph. Um, it hits two targets instead of one, and Maul does a lot of damage instead of just swipe, 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 swipe. So I can use Maul, and then I can use swipe as a filler. So I'm doing like probably triple the DPS instead of just swipe, 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 swipe. So if I can find that for you, I'll definitely have to show you guys. Let's go ahead and go into flight form. There's one right there, and I saw this guy was with that. Maybe he'll separate and go with him, but from the looks of it, I'm kind of doubting it right now, yeah, well, we can do these guys right here, I want you to watch the damage simply from mauling, I'm just going to maul, normally I would maul and swipe in between, but look how much damage that's doing to this guy, Wow, that guy's dead before my target. It's a great investment, especially if you do a lot of heroics. So if you don't have it, definitely go out and get it. It's the Glyph of Maul. We'll do another AoE pull right here. Uh, let's do this one. This one seems simpler. Oh, maybe not. Get over here. Yes, I'm a clicker. Sort of. I click and I 
press buttons. See, I'm, I'm not going to target this guy. I'm just going to AoE down the little guys and we'll see. Well, he's already half health. So swipe does get AoE damage as long as it's within a confi confined group. He's almost dead right now. And so are these guys. That's just swiping. So if this were your real rotation, when the mobs come up to you, you swipe about three or four times, how whatever makes you feel comfortable. And then on the caster, you'll maul and mangle and swipe and swipe and swipe and swipe. And once mangles up, then you'll go ahead and mangle the caster again. Demo roar whenever you feel like it. Whenever you feel comfortable enough that you have enough threat, you'll demo roar. I again doubt that you'll have to keep it up. And that's it. It's pretty easy. Not that bad at all, but again, make sure that it's not a huge, huge group because you won't be able to keep the kind of aggro that you want to on those guys. So good luck and have fun with your AoE.